Hello, this is Zmaster587. Um, today I'm going to show you some of the new features of Advanced Rocketry 0.2.0, still alpha. Um, have a couple of fixes, especially with the uh, conflicting tile entities that was reported on the GitHub. And that, you know, I thought they were scoped, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, one of the newest features in Advanced Rocketry is going to be space stations. Um, you can see here I have Looks like a pad, um, same construct or same it's constructed the same way as the uh, rocket pads are. Uh, however, with one exception, um, instead of using the rocket builder, we use a space station assembler. Um, you're gonna need this to launch your space station to orbit. So you have to build it on the ground first. You have to put a satellite bay in there and an unprogrammed station ID chip. You can scan it first. Like you would with the rockets, you can watch the green line go. And if it's successful, it'll change to ready up here. So what I want to do now is I want to build it, which will consume the items in the upper two slots, and spit out a program station ID chip, as well as a space station container. These space station containers are launched nearly the same way as the satellites. Well, actually they are exactly the same as the satellites. The dude is going to disassemble this, take out the station ship from earlier, move the seat. So there's the satellite bay on here with the launch of the satellite. I'm going to build this. And again, same setup as you know, standard rockets. That has not changed. Alright, so I'm going to be putting the space station container into the satellite bay. So launch it. I'm gonna fill it with water because right now there's still water rockets again. That's going to change in the near future. Um, just like before, we have to link it with the linker and then click launch. Now my computer's a bit slow, so it kind of wiggles around a bit on its way up. And you'll see that when I fly up myself. Alright, so I'm going to build myself a rocket so I can actually visit the space station. Um, once it hits altitude, it'll release its payload and create a space station. So by the time I build myself a rocket, it should have reached orbit. Again, this has not changed much. This is my new favorite configuration. It's a bit faster than the previous ones. Again, the rockets still require a seat and a guidance computer. Uh, there. Uh, you can put the chip in before you assemble it. Doesn't really matter. That's enough to be preferred afterwards. So you're gonna build it. That chip's still in there. You're fuel it. It's got fuel now. And now I'm gonna ride it up to orbit. Um, the space station chip, like the planet chip, or planet identification chip, will go into the guidance computer. Instead of taking it to the planet, however, it will take it to the space station that you launched. Uh, you get the guidance chip, I'm sorry, the, the uh, station chip when you build your space station with the uh, space station builder. And you're able to copy them the same way as in the previous video as with the satellites. You use the satellite builder in an empty chip. And then you click copy. So if you want to give your friends a chip, you can do it that way, or if you want to make a backup for yourself. Alright, I've now reached orbit. I'm going to descend on the space station very similarly to how I would a planet. As you can see, we are now in orbit around the Earth. You can see it below us. I'm going to do a slow descent. Um, rockets do not explode in this version when if you land too fast. That is something that will be implemented in the future, however, it is not there yet. So as you can see, the space station at the top here is exactly the same as the one I built down on Earth. Because it is the same one. So. Oh. One other thing I want to mention in the release build. Um, for beta testing purposes, I had it copy the structure rather than 
store it into the space station. So when you're actually playing with it, it's going to disappear off the pad when it finishes assembling. So you're not going to be able to duplicate stuff this way. You are able to put chests in here, and they will store items, and they will keep the items that you put in them on the way up. You can also, you're not limited to Earth when sending up space stations. If you're, say, to uh, launch a rocket from the moon containing the space station, it'll put it in orbit around the moon instead of the Earth. So that's an important thing to point out. Uh, so, leaving a space station is the same way as leaving a planet. Um, perhaps in future updates we'll include some knickknacks for space stations, such as uh, you know, gravity generators, possibly the ability to walk on walls. I have written a mod that lets you walk on walls. It's not released because it's still pretty buggy and only works in single player. However, I do plan on integrating that into the space station's system. So that's something to look forward to. That's not going to be a near future thing, but it's going to happen eventually. Um, again, because my computer's slow, you'll notice that I just kind of fell for a bit. It shouldn't happen if you're running a decently powerful machine. And I'm doing all this on a laptop, so. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm back on Earth, from the same spot I launched from. And that's Space Stations in a nutshell. You are able to build off the side of them. They're not, you know, stuck the way you build them here. So if you want to build like a really small structure, send it up, land on it, and then, ex and then extend it with other blocks you bring up with you, you can do that. Um, as of right now, the limit space station size is 512 by 512 blocks. So it gives you plenty of room to work with. But you can't have more than one space station. Or, yeah, as you can see, this, or no, you can't hear. I've already built another one. Doesn't you don't have to build it out of like this? You can build it out of other blocks. You know whatever you want. But one, once it's up there, if you want to build more on it, you're going to have to bring the materials up with you. You can't just set up another one. You know to be in the same location space as your first one. They don't share the same orbits. So um, yep, that's the space stations, and um. Going to be putting up the release very soon. Have fun.